hello everyone welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how to optimize valorant for low-end pcs to get the best performance possible if you are dealing with lag status or low fps this is the guide for you so first and foremost we are going to start by launching valorant okay i'm going to start with the in-game settings so first you launch valorant and then you go to settings so at the top right corner of the valorant screen right you see a settings icon there and then you click on it once you click on it click on settings and then we go on to settings now in settings at the top you see five things over there you have general controls crosshair video and audio we are going to select or we are going to click on video first thing is display mode make sure that it is set to full screen secondly we have resolution make sure that the resolution is the native resolution of your monitor make sure that you, if you have a 1080p monitor select 1080p if you have a 1440p monitor make sure that it's at native the next is aspect ratio now for aspect ratio make sure that you've selected fill now on to the limit fps all the limit fps settings over here make sure that all of them are on off but this is optional make sure that all of them are on off that is especially limit fps on battery make sure that it's off limit fps in menu off limit fps in background off make sure you turn off all the limit fps we move on to the next part of the settings which is graphics quality right so now in graphics quality we have multi-thread rendering make sure you leave it on on leave multi-thread rendering on on material quality should be left at low that is for low-end pcs if you have a graphics card that is capable of going a little bit higher you can put on medium for the best performance possible it should be on low now for texture quality texture quality should also be on low detail quality also on low ui quality also on low with bloom vignet can be on vsync should be off now for the next one anti-aliasing anti-aliasing should be set at one times right 1x also for the next one improve improve quality improve quality should be set at off right experimental sharpening also off bloom off distortion off and then cast shadow should also be set at off and when we do all this and be done for the in-game optimizations for valorant then now we can move on to the windows optimizations the first thing you are going to do is to set valorant to high priority so as valorant is still running you are going to right click on the start button that is the windows icon on the taskbar right click a menu will appear and then we select tax manager so when task manager opens up we look at the top there are buttons at the top and one of them says details so we select the details tab and then we, we look for valorant just go downwards um an application valorant win 64 shipping exe you have you also find valorant exe at the bottom don't select that one right click on valorant win 64 shipping exe and then set the priority to high what this will do is that it will make the game be prioritized by all the system resources to be able to locate all resources to the game for it to run better and for you to have better performance so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to go into settings then we're going to gaming and then we go to game mode click on game mode and then we turn game mode on game mode has to be turned on because it is going to allow your pc to what allocates all the system resources all the available you know system resources to the game for it to run better or for it to have better performance right yes so after you turn on game mode you go you click on game bar right you select game bar and then you turn it off also go to captures and turn everything off at captures so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to set the power plant to high performance right so you type power into the search right you see two options which is one says edit power plan and one says choose power plan select choose power plan and over here when it opens up we have balanced and we have power saver and then you see that one of them will be hidden so you click on the show additional plant and then you see high performance right 
So you see high performance and then you select high performance. This will allow for the system to pull out all the juice from the power supply to be able to make the game run faster and run better. So the next thing we do is that we go back into the tax manager. So you right click on the start menu and then you click tax manager, right? And then in the tabs at the top, this time instead of selecting details, you select startup. Now these are applications that start up with a computer and these applications take up a lot of system resources. So we are going to do that, I'm going to go into startup. Then we are going to disable all the applications that we don't need to be starting up with a computer applications like game launches and browsers and all of that that start up with a computer we don't need them to start up with a computer so we are going to disable them the next thing we are going to do is to optimize our graphics card or our graphics drivers no matter the graphics card you are using right click on your screen so right click on your screen and then click on amd radeon software once it opens up there are tabs on the top you have home gaming record and stream click on gaming and when you click on gaming, it will automatically send you to the game tab. Every game you've been playing will automatically show up here. If it doesn't, look to the right side of the screen. There's, there are these three dots. Three dots. Click on the three dots and click on add a game. So once you click on that, you go into your file explorer and then you look for the Valorant game. So look for where you installed the Valorant game folder. Go to live and then click on Valorant. So it will appear here. Once it's here, we click on it. And then these are the settings that we are going to do. So to the tuning settings, right? in the Valorant profile, you go to gaming experience and then we choose custom because the settings that we are going to use here are going to be, you know, our own settings. So this is what we are going to do. First thing we are going to do is over here, we have Radeon Super Resolution. This, I will advise for you to keep on or off depending on you. If you have a very, very low end PC, you can keep this on you'd have to reduce the resolution of the game in valorant and when you open the game radeon super resolution will upscale the game to your monitor's resolution radeon anti-lag should be turned on because it reduces input lag and that is very good and important for valorant radeon chill should be turned off because we want as many frames per second as possible as many fps as possible radeon chill caps the fps at a point image sharpening can be turned on right between 40 to 60 it helps with visibility without tanking your performance it doesn't reduce the performance enhanced sync should be turned off because it can cause status it's better to keep off unless you have horrible screen tearing wait for vertical refresh should be off wait for vertical refresh should be always off now going to the advanced settings so in the advanced settings for anti-aliasing we have to use application settings now for anti-aliasing method select multi sampling that's the default one it is good it's light on performance it doesn't actually cause status or drops in fps for the next one which is morphological anti-aliasing it should be off and that saves resources so disable morphological anti-aliasing for the next one we have anisotropic filtering in anisotropic filtering it should be disabled anisotropic filtering should be disabled the next one we have texture filtering quality that one we should select performance select performance because that prioritizes fps right it prioritizes fps the next one is surface format optimization for surface format optimization you can leave it on it gives a small boost in gpu efficiency the next one is tessellation mode tessellation mode should be left on amd optimized and then OpenGL triple buffering should be disabled. Okay, so we are at the end of the video. If you found the video useful or helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. God bless.